Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Hope you guys are doing good today. So right now, once again, social media is in shambles. DJ Academics is trending. Saucy Santana is trending. There is even more beef going on. So what's going down is this. Basically, DJ Academics um, took to his social media page to let everyone know that WAC 100 is helping him out. So this is what he wrote. He says, WAC 100 gets a high-ranking member of the Gagency, okay? Not the Beagency, but the Gagency on the line who says he's down to fight Saucy Santana at Donut 007 A at the one Saucy Santana. You lining it up or what? Thanks, Unc, at WAC 100. So I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this. This is what WAC 100 said on the phone. Check this out. Listen, I don't want you to say nothing. You said enough. Right, now, Sau hold on, Ray. Saucy Santana violated the homie act. Told act he gonna knock him out and do a a act to him. Act is a straight man, but one thing about Wack, I got some gangsters that's part the community. So I got my homeboy Denot online. This is nuts. Denot is an openly gay man. Hold on, no, bro. I'm up here with Act. Saucy Santana said something to bro. He can't deal with that. I need you to run the fade for me, Denot. Because he gay, and you know... If we say something, we gonna be we gonna get in trouble. Did not yeah. you openly gay? Yeah, can. can you run that fade? First of all, I'm bisexual. Nigga, I run that shit. Hell yeah. Hey, tell that nigga to take them nails out and put some boxes up and don't get no blood on me, nigga. That's all. So you a beat? You listen? You you saying right now? Did not act is listening? Oh, we run this clip on my Instagram tomorrow. They're not going to run the fade. That's right, it. Bet. Yo, Saucy, right, yo. no more coming at act. They're not, my nigga from Clubhouse, he running the fade. They're not. Let them know what your tag is in case they want to look you up. All right, bet. It's at D-O-N-A-T-007. Holla at your boy. We ain't do this shit, bro. No talking. I don't even want to hear that shit. Let's get it. Let's get it done. These niggas do too much talking on the internet. Perfect. If I don't reach that, ain't nobody going to do it, bro. So let's get this shit done, right? There it go. Do not good looking out. Act going to tag you. We going to put the play together, and we going to run it. This is crazy. Now nah, we going to vow. Tag dude. Yeah. They're not going to run the this fade. That's right, it. Bet. Yo, Saucy, right, yo. no more coming at act. Did not, my nigga from Clubhouse, he running the fade. Did Here not. Let them know what your tag is in case they want to look you up. All right, bet. It's at D-O-N-A-T-007. Holla at your boy. We ain't do this shit, bro. No talking. I don't even want to hear that shit. Let's get it. Let's get it done. These niggas do too much talking on the internet. Perfect. If I don't reach that, ain't nobody going to do it, bro. So let's get this shit done, right? There it go. Do not. Good looking out. At going to tag you. We going to put the play together and we going to run it. This is all right, so you guys just heard that. So then um, Hollywood Unlocked posted it, and DJ Academics commented. He says, he mad I got someone of his own flavor to squabble with him. Unwritten rule, a straight man and the other should never fight unless they are sleeping together. Shout out to WAC 100. So when he left that comment on Hollywood Unlocked, Zell Swag, if y'all don't know, Zell Swag is from Love & Hip Hop, and he is dating, currently dating, okay? Saucy Santana. They are calling themselves the new Jay-Z and Beyonce, honey, okay? That is Saucy Saucy Santana's boo. You can see them in this picture here together. Uh, Zell Swag posted this and he says, all I need in this life is sin is me and my girlfriend. Even though Saucy Santana is a whole man, but I digress. So anyhow, Zell Swag jumped up in the comments to check DJ Academics. And this is what Zell Swag says. He says, Wack calling the same nigga he be fucking on. Everybody in LA knows that. Wack sucks more D than his bitch. 
I'll slap him, AK, and the punk he caught on the phone. Y'all really don't want these problems, for real. So that is what Zell Swag says. So he was coming to his boyfriend's defense. He wanted all the fucking smoke. He said he would slap the shit out of all these dudes, okay, behind Saucy Santana. So now Saucy Santana is talking about the situation as well. So y'all go ahead and check out what Saucy Santana had to say about basically DJ Academics getting whack 100 to get Donut or Do Not, whatever his name is, to fight him check this out academics don't went and did a link up with whack 100 and another powder puff girl sitting on the motherfucking couch face full of motherfucking fear and then you got whack 100 calling another bisexual boy like he gonna do something to me bitch who, who? bitch where you don't left one headquarters and went to another headquarters but still ain't showing up in miami and i'm not gonna see you no motherfucking where so shut the fuck up and I was going to leave you alone once you started motherfucking crying. But since you want to keep chatting and you done did a whole bad bitch link up, I got something for you. And whack 100, you a bitch. That's why he came and found you. You a bitch ass nigga too. You was the manager that's in love with Blueface that was mad because Blueface go with Krishan, right? That's you. Mad at a nigga about his bitch. All y'all suck one. Honestly. Saucy Santana said something to bro. He can't deal with that. I need you to run the fade for me tonight. Because he gay. And you know, if we say something, we going to be, we going to get in trouble. Do not. And let's really keep it a bean, though. The same way you go. Stop, stop the gay boy narrative. We can't say nothing to him. All this cancel culture shit. It's plenty of things to say about me besides being gay. So y'all can stop that one right there. The same way you was fucking with a bitch about album sales and the same way you fuck with everybody else about how they music sound and statistics, go do the same thing. I'm going to keep it 100. The last three songs I put out did not do well. The last three songs I put out did not do well. That plaque's still on the thing, though. But the last three songs ain't do well. You can go pick on my YouTube numbers. Go pick on my monthly listeners on Spotify. Go pick on my Apple streams. You could, you could, you could clown me as an artist like you do everybody else. Why the fuck is y'all gotta stick up y'all ass like y'all don't know what to say back to me? Besides being gay, being gay, we at the end of the day we both got dicks. We two men, gay and straight. I beat your ass. I promise you. All right, y'all. So y'all just heard what Saucy Santana had to say, and Saucy's not playing. Like my good sis BL Sherelle, you know what I'm saying, pointed out during the live stream that Saucy Santana's daddy was a bodyguard for 50 Cent, Jim Jones, and a bunch of other artists. I didn't know that until she told me, and then I went back to verify it, and it is definitely official. So I'm assuming if his daddy was a bodyguard, his daddy definitely taught him some moves, okay? And the whole thing with this situation that's very interesting is that Saucy Santana acts to fight you dj academics he didn't ask to fight anybody else he didn't say send somebody else he wanted to fight you so as much as whack 100 talks about running people their fades once somebody's asking you for a fade then either you are obligated to fight them or sit it out but you can't send somebody else to go fight your fade like that's not how it works you know you can't be talking tough and going in and you know poking at the bear and then when he says he wants to fight you, it's an issue. Now, granted, when Saucy talked about taking his manhood, that was a bit too much. But I think if they just wanted to run a fade, there's nothing wrong with that. At the end of the day, you know, AK does what he does online, right? He does his hip hop reviews. And I, like I said, I agree with what he was saying about the city girls as far as like their music and them falling off and, you know, Carisha not really taking it seriously. I don't think there's anything wrong with that commentary, but it started going, but it started going left when he was bringing up, you know, Diddy and her being a side chick that has nothing to do per se with the music. But again, he sits online, you know, he has his, you know, his little Henny bottle, he pops off, he drags people. So it's very interesting now to see him like really bothered to the point where he doesn't want to fight Saucy, but he's willing to have WAC 100 hook up a fight for him with some other guy, which to me is just silly. I think at the end of the day, none of this is that serious, you know what I'm saying? But I do like the fact that Zell Swag wants the smoke. He's definitely taken up for his boyfriend as he should. You know, Saucy is still down. He's like, you know what? I might be gay, but I'll beat your ass. Like, stop making it a whole thing about, you know, because I'm gay, you can't talk about me. It's very obvious that DJ Academics wants to go on a homophobic rant. And because he can't, He's definitely bothered by that, okay? Because let's keep it real, he would definitely be canceled. So he is moving smart. He's not allowing people to bait him. But in the same breath, 
all of this unnecessary stuff like trying to get WAC 100 to basically connect a fade with Donut and Saucy Santana, I think that's a bit much. I think he should have just left it alone. You know what I'm saying? Saucy said what he said. AK said what he said, and that should have been it. But now asking Wack to set up a fade with somebody else is silly. If you're not going to get in the ring and box that man, if you're not going to go down to Miami and box him, just let this shit go, okay? Just move the fuck on and stop writing checks that your ass can't cash, okay? So anyways, y'all, I want to hear from you guys. I want to know y'all's opinion. Like I said, this is viral all over social media. I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Make sure you guys hit this video with a like. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. So let me know y'all's thoughts on all this. How do y'all feel about AK hitting up WAC 100 to, you know, get somebody to fight Saucy Santana? How do y'all feel about Zell Swag jumping in and having his boyfriends back? And how do you guys feel about Saucy Santana's response to DJ Academics? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping i will talk to y'all later enjoy the rest of your weekend deuces if you want the latest news in the streets join us and tune in for the tea breaking news with integrity so sir your friends and your family it's the lovely tv show bringing you good tea and good vibes it's the lovely tv show be sure to share like and subscribe